Auzubillahimineşşeytvanirracim, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new course for you that is Advanced Financial Accounting and this is basically Advance of Financial Accounting which you have already studied in your earlier courses. Now, Advance means that a uh, lot of things added to this accounting profession. So, let's see how much advance we can go into it. These three words, advance, financial accounting. Accounting is the same, but uh, advance means to what extent? International financial accounting standards, which are now available all over the world, and people are working on these standards. So, let me give you an overview of it. Advanced financial accounting is mainly focusing on preparing the financial reports in accordance with international financial reporting standards and local regulations. Local regulation means Pakistani laws, international laws, all those laws we have to follow because if uh, you look into the Security Exchange Commission of Pakistan, they have some their regulation that you have to follow when you prepare the accounts because they sell your company's shares so that's why they need that the account should be prepared in accordance to the international accounting standards now the course will cover some of the latest not all but few of those international accounting standards keeping in view the requirement of the subject and the users of those statements because we must keep in mind that these statements are going to be used by some individuals, decision makers. So you must provide them in enough information so that they can take a proper decision. The traditional role was to prepare the statements or rather providing the information to the user which is currently available through computer. We prepare this financial statement, get them audited, and that's all. Prepare annual reports, and that's what we are doing previously. But now, the dynamic role is to add value in business operation. And that is the most important one. And current situation, the suggestive role is turbulent environments to suggest ways and means how to create more value to the organization. Now, we as an accountant, some we have the course to follow because what we produce, people are going to use them. People are going to depend on them. So if we are not following these codes, which I suggested, responsibility, public interest, integrity, objectivity, and independent, free from conflicts of interest, due care, scope, and nature of the services. So we must keep all these codes before we go into the, final, uh, the profession of accountancy. Now the introduction of this uh, subject. Framework has required professional judgment, often within the complex situations in earlier courses of accounting, some basic concepts and principles have been covered. Therefore, the course emphasizes will be we emphasize on the will be on advanced topic in the financial reporting. Financial reports, that is not only the income statement balance sheet but there are many other reports you have to prepare because the annual reports comprises number of items, number of things. So you need to keep in mind all those. Plus, you need to prepare some accounting ratios also so that you people know how the company is performing, comparing from previous periods to current period. And this is what you require now, that you need to prepare some ratios also and then to give interpretation of those ratios. Now the Learning objective is to learn the current accounting, uh, international financial reporting standards, to prepare the financial st statement as per IAS and IFRS and other reported regulations, to give adequate disclosure in the financial statement necessary for the users, to prepare different ratios and their interpretation, to study the financial statements and draw conclusion, to find out red flags and big balls. These are something new words for you. Red flags mean something wrong somewhere, so you need to find out where the wrong is and then try to remove it. Big bath means sometime to improve the situation at the end of the year, at the end of the quarter, we just add something to give a better picture of the report. But this is what you need to be aware. On completion of the course, 
you understand the requirement of IAS and IFRS to prepare financial reports in accordance with these standards and regulations, prepare relevant ratios and their interpretation for the desired purposes, evaluate business entities perform financial statements and provide an analysis of the performance. Then you need to explain the problems of profit and profit measurements and alternate approaches to the assets valuation. And this is very important now because historically what we used to do, we simply anchor an expense, we sell products and we prepare income statement and then balance sheet. But now they have also changed the name of these statements and they need to more about like uh, instead of using the cost method, we used to use fair value method. And what is this fair value method we will discuss in later on that now we need to show in accounts, in finance, not the cost alone, but we have to keep in mind okay, what is the fair value, what is the current values of those assets so that we can report them on the balance sheet. Because historically the, an asset may be, let's say a car, maybe you are using for the last 10 years and you have a zero value in the balance sheet, but it is already going on the road. So you need to work out the fair value and that must be reported on the balance sheet. Discuss and evaluate current development in the ex external reporting. Acknowledge the complexity of the financial uh, reporting and how to manage to perform safely. Number of requirements nowadays to be followed before we go to the preparation of the accounting statements. Because those requirements are very, very essential and they are gui we are guided by the international financial accounting that this is how you need to prepare these accounts. This is the, how you follow those standards. Then maintain the ethical values in the preparing and communicating the results. As I said, this is the last one. This is very, very important that you must keep always in mind that your work is going to help somebody. The, your work is, somebody is going to depend on that. And they have to take their decision, economic decision. And if you are giving them the wrong information, then their decision will be wrong. And ultimately, you are also to be blamed. So in this case, you need to make, you must keep in mind always, always the ethical issues that what we have to follow. Thank you very much.